Clipping masks and alpha masking is now available for textures in Kittle and it's gonna totally change the game for your print on demand design. So let's take a look at how to do that right now. Okay, so in Kittle, I can now add clipping and alpha masks to my design. So to show you that, let's just go over here and pick one of these already pre-made amazing logos. We can choose this black ink one here, for example. I'll just replace this project. And now I'll show you both tactics. So with the textures here, I can add anything I want. Maybe I want to add a paper texture like this right here. And then that's going to apply to my entire design. And then over here, really quickly, if I just hit clip content like this, boom, it will only apply to my entire logo design. So it's no longer affecting the background. So now I can take my background off and you can see if I zoom in here just like this, it's only applying to my design. So this is really going to change the game for your t-shirt designs and other things like that, especially maybe outdoor and rugged style things to have textures inside of here. And then if you really wanna go back, you could easily just uh, undo your content. Maybe you're doing like a whole journal cover or something like that. You can easily toggle this on and off like that. But let's say that we want a completely different effect. Let's go back. I'm just gonna hit Commander Control Z a couple times until we're back here with our normal design that we chose. So now I can go, maybe let's use a different texture so that one we chose a paper texture but maybe we do something uh, a little bit different let's scroll down here a little bit let's go into cracked textures and I'll show you why here in a second so let's pick maybe this one it's got some really intense heavy streaks in here now it might not look like a ton right now that's okay I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn off my background because I know for this design I just want the logo so if I turn off the background now I can see the entire picture right it's set to color burn and if i change this to normal obviously boom there's the regular picture uh, i can change it to overlay all this thing i'll just keep it on where it was now what i can do in this sec this drop down is go down to alpha mask so when i click alpha mask look what happens to this now isn't this amazing so now it's giving me streaks from that texture to cut out some of the bits and bobs from this design and so now when I start adding something you can see that it's doing it for in its entirety right so if I have the background selected to red this whole design is now being alpha masked or for other terms it's basically deleting or erasing certain sections out of here so that it creates this really cool effect now obviously we don't really need this because we're going to put this on a shirt or a tote bag or whatever it is i mean of course this is a logo design but it could be for anything but if i zoom in here hopefully you can see what i mean this is really going to give you a super super cool uh, rugged kind of vintage vibe to your designs especially if you are making apparel I think this is gonna be really great for distressed style designs and it's super super easy to do with just selecting the alpha mask feature here on the right so here is that same design mocked up here on a white shirt and you can see that the streaks are coming through and then here is that same exact design on that original kind of burgundy red and you can still see those same streaks are coming through because of that alpha masking feature. If you wanna see other cool tips and tricks using Kittle, go ahead and check out these videos right here on my right. I know you're gonna enjoy them. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any other important updates and features just like this one. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.